Let's say that you're thinking about getting into a new pay-per-click market or thinking about bringing your business into pay-per-click ads and you want to dig up some dirt on your competitors or the other players in the market that are running pay-per-click ads, see what they're doing and see how well they're doing. Because you can tell if somebody's been running pay-per-click for a long period of time with a high budget, they're doing that because they're doing well with pay-per-click ads. So what two tools can you use to kind of tear into pay-per-click campaigns and analyze competitors in the pay-per-click space. Well, there's two awesome tools out there that I'm going to talk about here and compare for pay-per-click analysis. The first one is SEM Rush, right? SEM Rush, uh, the starter plan, which is all that most people need, is $119 a month. It's not the lowest cost option out there. But SEM Rush does a ton of other things besides pay-per-click analysis. The other awesome tool is SpyFu. And SpyFu starts at $33 a month. And really, I mean, that's going to get get you damn near all of the features unless you were doing things, um, you know, at a very, I don't want to say high level, but at a very uh, in-depth and granular level, which is going to be far beyond what most people need. So the $33 a month plan and the $119 a month plan, that's what I'm looking at here and that's what I'm comparing. Now, obviously, you can see the difference. SEM Rush is nearly four times what SpyFu is, and that's because they bundle a lot of other things in here with it. SpyFu uh, is focused more so on search, pay-per-click, and organic search, whereas SEM Rush pulls in all kinds of other things in terms of content marketing, local SEO, social media stuff, um, content optimization. Uh, they have display advertising monitoring in there, right? So SEM Rush packs a lot more into it, whereas SpyFu is more search specific. Now, for the purpose of this video and this analysis and comparison here, we're focused mostly on pay-per-click. Right. And, you know, to be honest, I got to say in SEM Rush, there's more features than most anybody could use in there. Um, but anyways, main point for this video, we're just going to focus on the pay per click side of or the pay per click aspect of SEM Rush. So uh, without further chit chat about the two products, um, and I guess I'll just say that you can try out both of the products. SpyFu, I think, has a 30 day money back guarantee. SEM Rush has a free trial period, etc. So you can try them out for a couple weeks, um, you know, at no risk and get your money back or well, cancel your free trial no matter what it is. So sometimes that's the best way of figuring out which one works best for you is just signing up for them, trying them both and canceling whichever one doesn't work. And of course, my affiliate links are below. But anyways, uh, enough with that. I said I was going to stop the chatter. Here we are. Let's kind of look at an example here and let me compare the two so you get a better understanding of what to expect from the two of them. And we'll see which one I like. I just Googled CPE for CPAs. That stands for continuing professional education credits for certified public accountants, right? And there's obviously a lot of people in the pay-per-click here. We are going to take a look at Master CPA and for no other reason other than this was the first one I randomly picked. I know it doesn't show that on here, um, but that was the first one I randomly picked to kind of do a little pre-run through and get an idea and make sure that I knew what I was talking about. So just a website here that sells continuing professional education credits for... Looks like various, well, not various things, but for CPAs, maybe for various things, I don't know. But this is their landing page for CPAs right here, right? So we got it. Let's take their domain and head on over to SEM Rush here that I'm signed into and pop it in. Now, you can already notice on the left, there is a lot, lot going on here. And this is what I'm talking about. Um, you know, when I say SEM Rush packs in a lot, and they're giving you a lot for that $120 a month, but a lot of it's stuff you may not need, uh, particularly if you're just interested in pay per click. You can see keyword research, link building, rank tracking, local SEO, advertising, social media, you know, a whole slew of stuff here. And there's a lot going on in this dashboard. They really pack in the numbers um, and they pack in the data here, right? So when you first pull it up, we look at this traffic trend and you can see this is showing over the last two years, they are getting organic traffic, which is the blue line. But that orange line, which is the paid traffic is relatively flat. So you can pop in some domains and you'll see that they've got hundreds of thousands of paid traffic or million. You know, they're spending more on pay-per-click by far and they're not really getting any organic traffic. That happens. Um, but for this site, it's showing very little paid traffic, which uh, right off the get-go, that kind of rings me as odd considering they're up here in the top of the page for CPA for CPAs, which is uh, obviously a pretty high, highly competitive search term. So 
um, you know, a highly competitive search term like that and showing low traffic in SEM rush, it's kind of, or on the paid side of things, is kind of showing, kind of, you know, making me question things, right? But we're going to get into the paid traffic. And to do that, we're going to click on paid search. And that pulls you down here uh, to where it gives you a little overview of the paid search. You can see their top paid keywords, paid position distribution. So they're falling mostly in the top two to three, uh, who else their competitors are, and kind of the overlap between them. So what's interesting is Master CPE is kind of not really overlapping with anybody else. Um, but we're going to click on View Details. In this, you'll notice that changed our position here, right? So um, that's taking us to the Advertising Research section. And that's really what we want to get to in this. So if we go back to SEM Rush. And we just type in master CPE up here. What we can do is come on the side here. We don't want SEO. We don't want local SEO. We want advertising. And then click on advertising research. This is going to give us all the pay-per-click stuff on it. Now, I'm looking at this and it's saying keywords 10, traffic 5, traffic cost $16. Uh, and to me, that's just not adding up in my mind. It's just not kind of passing the sniff test because I know that when you've got a full map pack like this, you know, and you're up there, you're spending more than $16 in one month on pay-per-click. So something doesn't seem right here in SEM Rush. So let's head on over to SpyFu at this point and pop it in. And I think I've already done it, but I'll start from the beginning. Um, MasterCPE.com. So we load it up in SpyFu again. It's going to show you another little chart just like SEM Rush that shows you organic versus PPC. Right? And it's showing you their estimated monthly pay per click clicks right here. So it's saying it's getting 1.6, where is in SEM Rush, it's saying 5. Or, and that's 1 1.6, 1.16 thousand. So a little over 1,000, 1,160 versus 5. Okay, that's weird. Traffic cost $16. SpyFu, estimated monthly Google Ads budget, 6.63 thousand, okay? That seems more realistic. So let's go in here to pay-per-click research. We'll click on this. And that's going to give us the pay-per-click overview. And again, we see this number here of $6.63 thousand a month is what they're estimating on pay-per-click. Now, this is just an estimate, but that is a lot more of a realistic estimate than we are seeing in SEM Rush. So that kind of brings me to the main problem that I've found with SEM Rush. And that is that they simply lack the pay-per-click data that SpyFu does. SpyFu has more pay-per-click data, and I'll see this, you know, in nearly every domain that I put in here. It's providing more data unless you go into a big market, unless you go into a big market, uh, like insurance or something where the the crawlers probably hang out a little bit more. I don't know exactly how they gather the data, but I would guess that they go for higher volume keywords, um, you know, in the SEM Rush catalog and SpyFu has more encompassing data mining process. I'm not sure if I'm using it, but SEM Rush uh, will generate good results that reflect SpyFu on those high volume keywords. On lower volume keywords, SpyFu is the clear winner here. So let's go through SpyFu, um, you know, and I'll talk about this in context of SEM Rush, uh, and we'll cover some things here. Now, we get the pay-per-click overview, right? And come down, you can see competitors. So here's the competitors and who are the major ones, uh, Master CPE being that red line. Now, if we go back five years, we can see who that has been doing things. And this blue line, I don't know who that one is, Surgent CPE, you know, they spent a lot in 2018, and then they stopped. Maybe they know that the market isn't buying at that time. I'm not really sure, but you can see the pay-per-click trends. Um, Master CPE has been around for quite some time, for the five years, and they're spending pretty consistently. That means that they're making a profit with it. Now, this little section right here in SpyFu is a section that I don't really like too much because it kind of gives off the wrong opinion. This says most successful paid keywords. This makes you think that this is what they are running ads for and that they're spending $17,000 a month on it. But that can't be right. At least if it were right, something would be wrong up here when it says their estimated monthly pay-per-click budget is $6.63,000. So 
Uh, where's the discrepancy? Well, that number that you see up top, the 6.63 is how much they estimate them to spend. This estimates how much money you would need to spend to get 6.39% of all clicks for this. All right, so this is not applicable to the domain we're researching. So I, I would you know, strike this out in my mind of being valuable. The Google Ads history here that we're coming on to is where I see the most value in SpyFu because now we can go to this domain or we can go click on that link and go to the full report and it's going to view the history and now we can see where they're really spending their money, right? So I like to sort this by coverage and as it reads, reads coverage, also known as impression share, um, that's the amount of search queries that somebody would run that their ad would show up for. So if you search for CPA, CPE, 83.3% of the time, their ad is showing up. So we can see it right there. And I like to sort, sort by coverage. So that way you get an idea of, you know, where they're really spending the money and then look at clicks per month because these are going to be the major keywords, right? So, um, you know, 91.7 on 6.6 .6 clicks per month is worthless. We're not really getting anything there. 83.3% on a 1.24 thousand per month uh, search volume keyword, that's some money. That's where they're spending some money. Uh, again, 83.83, 1.14K on CPE courses, right? So you can go through here and see where the big keywords are and the big winners. So um, that one's a big winner. Obviously that one's gonna be a big winner. There you go, you know, and those are probably gonna be the big seed keywords, online CPE. So those were, if you know, you're looking to get into this market, keywords that you would wanna plan on bidding. Now the other cool thing is here is you can see the ad history and see what they change. Now, when we clicked on the ad, we clicked on an ad that had $149 in it. Right, so $149 is something that they're clearly marketing. And what's, in, uh, I don't wanna say incidental, but what's interesting is these guys up here are running 139 and I'm sure that they noticed that 149 and said, we'll price ours $10 less. But let's go back to SpyFu and we can take a look at their ads. We'll go to the one where there's high volume and high coverage. And we wanna see how long they've been running this $149 offer. In other words, does this $149, $149 offer work? If they're running it for a long period of time while well, they're doing that because it works. And we can go back a few months here. Let's see how far back we can go. Oh wow, you can keep going back and back. So let's just go back here to July, 2019. And they're running that $149 off. We'll skip ahead to November, $149 offer. Uh, April 2019, I may have been in 2018 there, $149 offer. And let's come back up here to current day. There we go. Uh, December 2020, $149 offer. And right now I'm recording this in June, <laughs> June, January 2021. And obviously they're running $149 offer. So we know what keywords work and we know what the big call to action is and their magic price point. They've, um, you know, we can, we've seen that they've been running pay-per-click for a long period of time at that $149 offer. They probably know that that works and probably have found good conversion success. And we can see these guys have obviously done their homework and priced at $139. So that is big takeaway that you can take, or that's what you can take away that's very big and valuable from SpyFu. And that's how I like to use it. You know, get these uh, keywords and then we can see what they're running for, what calls to action they're using, how much they're spending on it. Now, let's go back to SEM Rush because you know, I kind of skipped over it here because they're not supplying a lot of data and they're very weak in this pay-per-click data that I've found. Um, you know, they've still got a good tool here. So let's just put in something else like, supercheapinsurance.com. This is a lead gen insurance website. And as I used, said earlier on that in the insurance space, we've got these high volume keywords. Now you can get more accurate numbers from SEM Rush. They do do well on the higher volume stuff, but for you know broader, not broader, but on a bigger picture, they don't have as much data. Uh, we can see things, right? So we can, we'll just set this chart to all time here. Uh, so you can see that they're estimating the site spends $5.8 million per month on pay-per-click. And that is what you'd expect for something high value in the insurance niche. Uh, and then when we come down here, similar to how I did this coverage, right, where was coverage? Here we go. Similar to how I did coverage, SEM Rush has this cost percent. 
we're going to sort this highest to lowest because again i like to see where they're spending their money right there it's sorted lowest to highest let's click it again And here we can see where they're spending their money. If you click on it, it says this value shows you what percentage of the website's total traffic costs is attributed to a particular keyword for a specified period of time, right? So over this entire time, it's 21.6%, I think. If we come down here, I guess that they're probably using the same time period. So if you toggle it here, it doesn't matter. Um, they're probably just using one month data on this. So 21.6% is, you know, what they're spending and they're going for car insurance, auto insurance, cheap car insurance, right? So clearly this thing is in the car insurance pace. While their website is super cheap insurance, I don't see any other types of insurance in here other than car. Oops, down here they're getting into renter's insurance, right? So now we know that they're running, um, you know, running ads for renter's insurance and that they're dealing in that space. There's liability, but they're clearly focusing all of their money on auto. Now, if you click trend, let's just see what that does. Oh, I thought it was gonna pop something up, but I think it's just, oh, it is popping something up. Here we go. Trend looks like they're, they're pretty consistently staying at, you know, in the, in the top spot for auto insurance and spending whatever it takes to be up there at these $63 clicks, right? That's how they end up spending 5.8 million dollars on it right now you got to say they're getting 63 dollar clicks um to be profitable here they're probably selling these leads for 200 dollars or so to who i don't exactly know but they have to be doing that to stay profitable uh and then of course like it you can see like spyfu you can see the ads right here so you can see the ad that they're running but it's not so easy to see the history so to do that you got to come to another tab and click on add history. And I don't even know if we can see the ad. Yeah, we can. And click on that, that should pop up and that shows the ad, right? And that shows the ad as going through this. So it's not bad, but it's, you know, another step in more data. Um, you know, the other thing I like about SpyFu is it's very, I feel like it's cleaner and more concise in the data that it presents to you. You kind of get really just the basics and what you need. SEMrush will show you more data uh, but it's just kind of overwhelming, right? Analysis paralysis type of thing. So, you know, that's kind of how I look at these two tools when it comes to pay-per-click analysis and how I use them and a little bit of how I do my pay-per-click analysis. Personally, I like SpyFu better because it's got more data on keywords, as you've seen from this example, and it's simple and more concise. Now, you can get a free trial period, whether that's through free trial and then, or not free trial, but um, well, that's through signing up and taking advantage of the refund period that I know SpyFu has for 30 days, uh, or possibly a free trial period through SEMrush, or again, a refund period. Both of them, or not both of them, I don't know, I don't know exactly what they're off the top of my head, but most of these software type of programs offer a refund period if you're unhappy. So even if they don't offer a free trial, they offer a refund period. So what I suggest doing, what I often like to do is just sign up to both of them, test them out over a week, see how they go, and then cancel the one that doesn't work. So on that note, let me know if you guys have any questions on this pay-per-click analysis stuff or these tools, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise guys, that's a wrap on this video and I'm signing off.